and welcome to Vilam. This is session number three of management of marketing, communication, and advertising. Topic will be advertising. Topic will be covered into the advertising creativity, advertising research, measuring the advertising effectiveness. Now, what is advertising creativity? Before going to understand about the creativity, advertising creativity, we need to understand what is creativity. Creativity in advertising has in a two aspects. We can say that uh, first is originally evident in the message communicated and in its presentation. Second is the improvement made in the life of a consumer. These two kind of you know, things would be add on by the uh, creativity. Creativity in advertising is supposed to generate the communicabilities, excitement, and yes, at the same time, surprises for within the advertising of the product. Creativity is when advertising, advertising life, its advertising reasons the, um, or we can say that rise the anxieties in the consumer. Advertising basically stimulate the people to utilize more uh, fully and productive facilities available in the marketing. So advertising, if we're going to be understand, it is the kind of the concepts of creativity. So creativity is a creative act, which is uh, free and yet independent force. And it is what the kind of, uh, we can say that the any kind of a thing which have the originality in it. Uh, so that comes into the creativity part. Creativity is a basically concept of having undertaking the expert of a field um, in the simply a technique of producing the ideas to achieve something new and relevant. So creativity in advertising is kind of as we were mentioning in the slide that creativity may be defined as a creative state of a mind for uh, expressing the rational feelings to bring the something new, relevant, useful and valuable ideas. That is, it is kind of in a situation where effort put down kiya jata hai, kuch nahi cheeze lane ke liye, kuch apne apne feelings ko express kiya jata hai, apne thoughts ko express kiya jata hai, actually is to understand or to bring out something new, feeling of bringing something new, relevant, useful and valuable ideas. Creative must have, creativity ke andar kya kya cheeze hai jo bhoat zaruri honi chahiye, sab se pehle ek originality concept hona chahiye, that means should be original. आपका जो क्रिएटिव आइडिया है वो बहुत ज़्यादा ओरिजिनल होना चाहिए। Another is the ingenuity, that is उसमें एक एक पार्ट होना चाहिए which explaining the ingenuity concept. Another is inventive, inventive is something new, बिल्कुल एक new concept और जिससे जो आज तक अभी किसी ने ना किया हो ऐसा आइडिया। And yes, imaginative, that or should be required to have your advertising must be imaginative, जिसको देखकर एक person influence हो जाए कि वो imagine ही करे। Advertising, advertising basically stimulates the people to utilize more fully the productive facilities. So advertising एक influencing power होती है consumers के लिए, जो उसको force out करती है कि वो उस एक product को खरीद के उसे utilize करे। That comes into the advertising. So creative, creativity association basically, it's a we can say that the association which represent of the bringing of an idea generation technique. It has also pointed out the processes and practices of association provide clarity and impact for the meaning. So, in advertising, can the proper clarity, proper viewpoint, proper impact लाने के लिए किसी भी तरीके की misunderstanding से नहीं, तो एक creative associations की जाती है. So there are n numbers of we can say that creative association in the advertising clearly defined few aspects जो कि एक advertising के अंदर होने चाहिए सबसे पहला है the unique selling proposition which is called as USP. So we can say that the basic idea of a creative advertising being unique for selling a product and has been coined by the different authorities in the given way. USP is basically defining out the unique point. Um, the unique point in the particular product which is mentioned in the advertising. So we can say that it is the kind of the idea connected with the advertising should be so unique for the product and yes advertiser must ensure that the newness and relevancies of the product will never be lost. So there was the we can say that it is the kind of uh, USP and USP having in a three guidelines to the development of an USP, किस तरीके से हम अपनी USP को increase कर सकते हैं उसके लिए तीन guidelines हैं। सबसे पहली है 
the propositions need to involve a specific benefit जब एक specific benefit आप अपने product के through provide करवा रहे हैं तो उस case में वो एक USP का part हो सकता है second it must be unique one that competing the firms are not using इस तरह and at the same time unique होना चाहिए वो चीज़ होनी चाहिए जिसके behalf पर आप एक competitiveness लेकर आ सकें and it must Sell, therefore, it must be important enough to consume to the influencing the decision process. So, decision process to influence करने के consumable power उसके अंदर होनी चाहिए. That comes into the first USP part. Second is brand image. Brand image is basically the concept of a brand. We can say that कि एक brand को लेकर consumer क्या presume करता है. Advertising basically used for that. So, advertising should be thought of the contributions of a complex symbol. Which is the brand image? Advertising always creates a consumer's mind. A particular brand should related image create. करती है. So that's up to the company that what kind of an image they really want to create about their brand. So this is what they want it to be all the things of all the people. मतलब क्या लोग actually सोचते हैं? Those who are very much of the thinking process कि वो आपके ब्रांड को किस तरीके से लेंगे तो हम इसे इस तरीके से भी बोल सकते हैं कि इट इज टोटल पर्सनालिटी ऑफ अ ब्रांड रैदर देन एनी ट्रिवल प्रोडक्ट डिफरेंसेस व्हिच डिसाइड इट्स अल्टीमेट पोजीशंस इन द मार्केट देन अदर इज रियलिटी रियलिटी इज द प्रेजेंट क्रिएटिव आइडिया हैज चेंज इट्स पर्सपेक्टिव टू बी मोर नियर टू द ट्रूथ एंड अ क्रिएटिव पर्सन आर अप्लाइंग एन आइडिया व्हिच लुक फील स्पीक लाइक अ रियलिटी In terms of कि आप जिस भी concept या जिस भी concept के advertising के साथ market में आ रहे हैं, it should be like real. उस advertising के साथ your consumer must feel like कि yes that particular things are really happen. They should be feel, they should be look linked, they should be speak like that. It is real. Another is complete comparison. Comparison is basically the there should be a comparison between you and your competitive product. If we were discussing about so there were the three basic features who was comes into the comparative part. The first one is who are the more specifically named or recognizable demands and rated brands of the product or the service category are compared. The companion based on one or more attribute of the goods and services and yet at the same time it is either state be implied or demonstrated the that Collector information has been gathered as the basis of comparative theory. In that case, जब किसी तरीके के comparisons available होते हैं और आप yes उन comparisons के बेहाफ पर आप अपने product को define कर सकते हैं. Then jungle. Jungle may be is the advertising method. Jungle we can say that it is using of अपना song of a musical accompaniment. That means आपकी जो भी एक message होता है वो आप उसको singing way में जब रिप्रेजेंट करते हो डेट इस कम्स इनटू दी जंगल जंगल इस यूज इन दी टेलीविजन एस अ पार्ट ऑफ अ कमर्शियल टू एक्सप्रेस द थीमिंग और और दी प्रोडक्ट स्टोरी एंड अदर इस स्लोगन स्लोगन में भी कंसीडर एस अ बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट सिंबलाइजिंग दी क्रिएटिविटी एंड सॉर्ट दी सक्सेस ऑफ it it's newness we can say or the advice it could be promise it could be creative generating approach it could be selective and commanding characteristics playing an important role for creating the advertising but yes the basic feature of headlines are it should be attractive it should be generating the alertness amongst the consumer and create the perspective for selecting of the right thing another is relevancy Relevancy is a creative idea consists of the relevant and newness in it. It means that the theme of must be targeted for the audience with a positive importance and creative involvement. So that comes into the relevance. Another is emotion. Emotion in the field of advertising, emotions are a mood creation approach. Require a basic strategic plan, mood creations, ads are particularly used for the products and services. Which lacks a distinguished characteristic. So emotional appeal generate the feeling with the uh, to further generation that sell points. It's like any kind of an emotion is. It could be surprise one. It could be gratitude one. Acceptance one. 
or expected happiness, relevance, excitement, creative uh, satisfaction and dissatisfaction. These all comes into the emotion part. Another is positioning. Positioning is basically a statistic tool of a brand managers and advertising planner. The positions of a brand is the perceptions which being about in the mind of the target consumer. So that comes into the positioning. It is what the basically of an a what kind of an a perception consumer had about the product. So perception it basically the essence of a brand in terms of its function and non-functional benefits and the judgment of consumer. Another is benefit. Benefit is related to its a creative advertising. It means uh, attributes of the product presented before targeting the customers um, with the planned strategic way. So because our consumers always buy uh, product as textures, so that comes into the uh, benefit part. Negativity. Negative advertising also trying to generate by the demand of a creativity. We can say that. And yes, at the same time, such advertising should be homeliness, sadness, or we can say that any kind of the negative thought which was which can be generated in the consumer's mind. So that comes into the negative. Another is cel uh, celebrities kind of advertising. It is what using the personalities on the in the motion picture advertising. It could be happen in the endorsement kind of in a part about the industry, support, uh, sports, sweaters. This all comes into the celebrity celebrities. So in that case, another is uh, the execution. Execution is basically ultimate goal of advertising, which is determine the real communications of the uh, persuasive message to the audience, and they are the certain characteristics of the execution. So that comes into the execution part. Then humor, humor kind of an advertising would be attracted. Humor enhance the attentions of the audience, and it is used to. Advertising uh, to the attract attentions and yet at the same time direct the attentions to the product in the pointed and in wording the way. So that comes into the humor part. Advertising discouragement. This is in, in an advertising creator, we were going to understand that yes, these are the particular things which is required to be in an advertising to bring out the, um, uh, the glance on the advertising of creative to be more creative advertising and yet at the same time bringing out the importance of the advertising. Now comes the advertising research. What kind of a research would be required in the advertising? The importance of advertising research can hardly be overemphasized. If conducted properly, research can reveal many hidden facts. So it is what advertising people who ignore the research are as a dangerous as a general who ignore the decor of the enemy country. So we can say that research is kind of an understanding which is required to be gathered by all the advertisers to consider or to bringing out any kind of an a research. So advertising research having a two purposes. First is provide direction, provide the proper direction to the consumer. And yes, at the same time, provide the benchmark for measuring the success and or we can say that failure. Provide the benchmark, up to a benchmark of check and claim that what kind of an uh, success and failure is the person going to be conducted. Now type of advertising research. Advertising research kis kis tarikay se ho sakti hai. Sab se pehle hai recall uh, measurement. Recall measurement is in a the uh, gathering of all the uh, researches. Another is the attitude management. Attitude management is kind of uh, getting the ideas about uh, what kind of uh, perceptions the consumers have about the brand. Another is brand usage, how your brand is famous and recognized in the market. Pre-testing would be the one uh, type of uh, research gathering that is you were actually conducting in a test about your product on the in the market. Post-testing is after launching the product you were actually bringing out or bringing the certain kind of a test on the certain kind of product. Then copy testing, another is media research and customer re custom research. Now measuring the awareness, what, how it, we can say that the advertising is the measure. Awareness is generally regarded as the measure of a knowledge without reference to the sources. So it is what generally measuring of a knowledge about that particular product. Although the primary interest in advertising evaluation is knowing if there is a relationship between the advertising and consumer awareness. And yes, practically this relationship is not easily possible. So in that comes, yes, 
ये स्टडी करना कि आपके प्रोडक्ट के थ्रू कंज्यूमर्स की नीड्स जो है वो सेटिस्फाई होंगी कि नहीं दैट कम गोइंग टू बी मेजरिंग अवेयरनेस सो मेजरिंग अवेयरनेस ऑफ वी कैन से दैट फॉर द रिसर्च कलेक्टिंग द प्राइमरी डाटा दैट प्राइमरी डाटा विल बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू दीस फोर प्राइमरी मेथड्स फर्स्ट इज यस और नो क्वेश्चन वी कैन टेक द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ एग्जांपल लाइक हैव यू एवर हर्ड ऑफ द अन्नपूर्णा आटा फ्लो सो इट इज यस और नो So if the answer is the yes, that means there is one of the awareness would be there. If answer is the no, that means there is a less awareness in the market. Another is open-ended question. Open-ended question is what what company can you name that packets the uh, flow? That is instantly asking for the name of another company. Or uh, we can say that more information is obtained than in the yes and no situation in that condition. If we are open-ended, in that case, yes or no, we can gather more information. करेंगे देन चेकलिस्ट क्वेश्चन चेकलिस्ट क्वेश्चन इज बेसिकली लाइक फॉर द विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रोडक्ट डज द किसान कंपनी मैन्युफैक्चर इट कुड बी फ्लोर इट कुड बी कैचअप इट कुड बी जिंजर सॉस सो हियर द आंसर्स आर बेसिकली ऑब्टेनिंग और गैदरिंग द रेंजेस ऑफ द आंसर्स सो इफ आपको इंटरनली ही कंज्यूम गुड्स के बारे में पता लगाना हो सो इट कुड बी बेटर टू जनरेट द चेकलिस्ट क्वेश्चन another is rating scales rating scales is basically how would uh, you rate the kisan flour in the comparison with the other brands or in the flour you have used so in that case what is the answer would be better about the same not not good as looking for so these kind of an answers would be given by the consumer another is measuring recall measuring recall is basically Uh, recall can be determined by the amount of a knowledge consumer directly related to the advertising. More knowledge, the consumer gets are directly related to it. So the companion should be identified as the source of the that knowledge. Or recalling is normally used to determine what extent advertising message has been retained by the consumer. कितने time तक एक message को consumer जो है अपने पास retain करके रखेगा. That is the concept comes into the recall. it could be of the unaid recall and another is the aided recall unaid recall can be recall any brand of a flows being advertised in the last few years few so the respondent is giving a no clue as to what brand is being uh, investigated or what uh, additional questions might be asked so uh, the persons must recall or and all the advertising managers seen in the uh, messages seen in the past and later related them to the question answer this is the unaided recall thing another is aided recall aided recall is basically that is do you remember the seeing or hearing of the advertising from the kisan flow recently so this is what the respondent reply is the aid the brand name so rather than trying to remember all the flows advertising the respondent could concern on a particular brand and uh, care must be taken that not much not too much aid is given or yes the respondent may resort to guessing the rather than recalling them so that comes into the aided recall that is another is attitude measuring how the attitude of the advertising going to be measured first is to understand there was a five basic techniques to understand it uh, the first one is the direct uh, questions direct question is same as the uh, factors of Yes or no, but not exactly similar. In a direct question form, how much um, we can say take the example. How would you describe the use of the kisan flour for baking? So only a favorable or unfavorable attitude towards the product is measured. So the level and the degree of feeling is not possible. As a result, the appropriate may be combined with the Uh, rating scale. So in that case, the rating scales for that matter, because uh, for attitude, we can say that for the quality, it is difficult to measure about the particular grains part. Second is the rating the scales. That is, how would you uh, describe the self measuring uh, uh, sprout on the Krishna uh, flour package? So Kisan flour package. So in that comes, it is very easy to use. Easy to use. These all are our all option. Although the social and social are easy to apply and tabulate, and main problem is to collating the views of the respondents. Another is checklist 
checklist example is the same which one of the following is most important to the person for uh, for the procedure of an approval so the price the package the easy for the validation the applications of the manufacturer the attitude can be easily ranked by the um, respondent and you said the earlier non assurance that most important factor um, have um, been associated and yes at the same time and listed on the posting one so that comes into the uh, checklist method another is semantic differential uh, testing it is what uh, paired comparison description world or the pair are uh, subscribed as an uh, on a scale so in that comes um, does it respond in the attitude towards or you can say the attitude towards the place or the, the product pro product can be determined then partially structured interview this is what the person want to meet the person uh, partially or we can say that the personally it would be helping to understand the um, the advertising related to that particular person now we are moving towards the copy testing copy testing is basically of generating uh, or getting the proper understanding about the assignment or we can say that the about the copy the poster in terms of strategy when the campaign start karne se pehle copy testing ki jati hai just to checking that ki jo bhi scene is banayi gayi hai wo sahi hai ki nahi hai does the advertising that make up an advertising campaign created the desired impression image kyunki hum soch rahe hain ki ye desired image create hogi wo wo hi kar payenge ki nahi kar payenge so in that case this is the basically a research and after that getting the research there are various techniques to get that research accurate uske liye sabse pehli technique hai the qualitative research it is basically focus group research is widely used at the uh, front the which is an end of the development of the advertising campaign so ye ek focus group par dhyan rakh kar banayi jati hai ki ek focus group ke upar dhyan rakhte hue kis tarah advertising banayi jati hai second second is audience impressions of the ad ki many of the copy tested ad is set Uh, for the open ended portion ki unke aaj impressions hai unke ad ke bare mein what they were thinking about the ad ke about kis tarike ke bare mein hai kya interest generate kiya us idea ne unke mind mein another is objective uh, checklist this is what does the use of the check uh, checklist questionnaires which include the ad, uh, objectives that allow the advertiser to reach a mark determine basically how warm how irritating or we can say that how informative or how respondent it to be that means advert objective jo hai wo ek advertising ka bolta hai another is psychological major psychological majors are basically the kind of an instrument are used to observe the reactions on the advertising ki advertisements ka jo ek proper tarike ke reactions kis tarike se aa rahe hain after that uh, that particular copy testing there was the Uh, the concept of synchronized and the customer research technique these are the basically technique of evaluating the uh, or we can say that is the methodology to understanding the about the advertising and the liking of that particular advertising campaign it is what uh, televisions uh, rating uh, points we can say the, which is known as uh, trp tvr tvr uh, basically is this research is used in measuring of a television audience that is in that particular time how much television audience are there on so we can say that that two companies uh, do this kind of an research in india basically the viewership measurement is specified at the timeline and use, useful for the research um it is, is that it helps in formulating the media's plan another is press relationship press relationship is uh, basically comparing the television the rating point in the leadership survey and uh, yes we assert it used in the measuring the leadership for the various vehicles so that comes into the uh, the press leadership measuring the advertising effectiveness now understanding that yes research is very much required now the next uh, part is to understand that how effective is the advertising it is so the effectiveness is basically measure of a gap between the results and objectives so the results and objectives ke behalf par ek gap aata hai that comes into the generating the effectiveness effectiveness is basically 
um, so check out ki how quality based your advertising is because it's a it is an uh, evaluation of uh, advertising process we can say so the advertising evaluation process is basically it it is a process of calculating the accountability in that in that the reason to evaluate the campaign what was the reason behind to evaluate that kind of my campaign first is to determine if the objectives set for the campaigns were met jis bhi objectives ke liye campaign banaya gaya tha wo objective campaign fulfill kar raha hai ki nahi kar raha hai another is to quantify the returns on the investment jo bhi ek return on the jo bhi ek investment ki gayi hai campaign mein usse related return jo hai rise ho rahe hain ki nahi ho rahe hain another is to use the result of my research that means if the proper result is coming on or not results of the effectiveness would be there or not for the measurement of effectiveness yes the evaluation is against the objective issue in the measurement kaun kaun se aise issues hain jo ki consider karne hote hain iske liye sabse pehle hai the advertising must have an a soft objective in terms of unlike the hard physical measurements that can be made by the meters of a clothes ruler in the so the objective of advertising campaign is should be softer aur us tarike se nahi ho sakta and yes subject to the impre, uh, interpretations interpretation present an inherent uh, problems when any measurement is made on the people another is the measurement uh, over time it is uh, because the most advertising campaigns run over the several weeks or even a year it is often difficult to pinpoint the exact results of the campaign another is multiple advertising and marketing uh, variables even when the measuring the communication efforts of the advertising campaign there is a problem in uh, differentiating what is advertising and what is not so in that comes one cannot ignore the fact that advertising uh, must is but one variable in the marketing mix and other vi- other variable do could not have the communication effect so in that terms yes it is just to understanding or getting the understanding about the multiple advertising and marketing variables another is the problems of the human memories it is uh, human being simply do not remember everything so um, and they are certainly don't remember all the advertising so they have seen and been exposed to so all the more and more is being learned about how the human mind basically evolved and it still is uh, almost impossible to say whether the advertising goes into the short memories or long memories so these are the common factors which comes into the problem of human memory now what are the methods of uh, calculating uh, the advertising effectiveness first method is the day after recall that is recall we all know that recalling uh, the advertisements jo ki abhi hum log ne previously bhi study kiya tha uh, day after recall is basically a mostly common used to evaluate the impact of the creative experience execution especially for a new brand and new campaign that the, these are most commonly used for television campaign so nothing of the methodology prevent them from being in the uh, any other media too a group of a respondent is uh, uh queued on the random survey uh, the day after the commercial is released on the tv and the people who has been seeing the program or programs on which the commercial appeared are portioned to determine the top of the mind record and unedit records and edit records so some survey extend the day uh, the daily after recalls to include the portions on linking and references through the validity of such extensions not being established and that is just to जनरेट दी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कि कितना ज्यादा रिकॉल किया जा सकता है एक पर्टिकुलर गुड्स के एडवर्टाइजिंग को सो इट्स काइंड ऑफ ऑन अ कंडक्टिंग इन अ सर्वे ऑन दी पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स कि कितना रिकॉल रहा कितना रिकॉल नहीं रहा सो दैट कम्स इनटू दी डे आफ्टर रिकॉल एंड अदर इज दी कंसिडेंटल स्टडी कंसिडेंटल स्टडी इज बेसिकली अटेंपटिंग टू मेजर एंड इवैल्यूएट दी कंज्यूमर एक्सपोजर्स एंड रिएक्शन टू दी एडवर्टाइजिंग एट इट्स अपीयर्स so it is what generating the expressions of the consumer it is particularly effective with the broadcast advertising uh, and yes one of the most common type of the confidential study is the telephonic interview uh, so we can take the example that an advertiser must want to determine if the advertising message is reaching the correct target market and to learn how and what information is being conveyed the telephonic calls are made to the member of the target market while the advertising in both 
is being broadcast on either radio or television by learning uh, what station or story are being watched heard advertiser then knows whether or not the target audience is re- receiving the message or not so that comes into the confidential study another is the tracking um, studies tracking studies are basically studies usually consist of the series of interviews during the course of campaign so the process is to determine the level of the exposures and effects are being achieved by the advertising campaign so because it is commonly agreed that advertising efforts build over the time studies are usually conducted in the waves and p def- defined schedules so that comes into the tracking study so yeah there are few courses which you have to do it yourself first is the cel- the celebrity advertising is obviously expensive however it might have some advantage discuss some of the major advantage of the celebrity advertising another is how research is uh, helpful in uh, better advertising planning so that means what kind why yeah how the research is going to be helped and what are the advantages of the celebrity advertising so this is all uh, all about for the today's session we were winding up here thank you so much happy learning we learn